Woo. Oh. Today, we're riding at Silver Mountain and looking to spend a lot more time in what they call the Chair 3 Zone. This zone is a good session spot, mostly consisting of short and punchy advanced and expert trails. Runs in this area can be done in under 10 minutes, where the top to bottom trails can take upwards of 45. Today, for me, it turns into one of those days though that knocks your ego back a couple notches. We're going to warm up on a blue flow trail called El Burro Loco, which is normally a pretty lax trail to start your day on. Love it. Okie dokie. I'll follow you. Uh, I prefer to be called artichokey. <laughs> <laughs> Need to warm up. Yeah, a little stiff. A little squirrely. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Good, how are you guys? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That was a good place. Usually you take your bike with you down those. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> I like that method. Which one? It's probably that thing. Yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> oh, that was good. So that was my first incident of the day. That one little rock I didn't see just skewed my front tire over enough into the loose stuff to send me rolling down this rock rollout. After finishing our warm-up lap, we head over to a black tech trail called Frankenbeans. The main feature for this trail is a drop on a little offshoot run called Baby Swiss. Mark's been scoping this out for the last few days, so we're gonna go take a peek at it to see if it's something that he wants to try today. A death rock right in the middle of the trail. Steepy. Yeah, right on this portion's where that drop is. We can go take a peek at it. Yeah, yeah there's a. You can obviously ride around it. So. Woo. Oh. What a day. Whew. And that's my second incident for the day. Honestly, I'm not sure exactly what happened other than my front tire sliding out. Luckily though, there was a pile of rocks on the side of the trail to break my fall. Oh man. Damn it. Today is not my day, man. One crash after another. Right into a pile of rocks. Son of a b Bike okay? Thought I was gonna save it and then it got really goopy. Yeah, bike seems fine. Right. Take off my helmet though, because I nailed a rock with it. Straight into my helmet. Didn't ring my bell, thankfully. A little grass in your goggles. Not bad. Yeah, my legs are like. I turned the lens course into uh -huh. and I was like, oh. Son of a. <laughs> oh, okay, I got my first two crashes out of the way. 
Only. Only crashes out of the way. Yeah. Now that I got that out of the way, let's go take a peek at that drop like we initially planned. All right, this is the drop. Baby Swissies. Baby Swissies. Might be easier to scope it from right over there. If you're gonna scope out a line like this, be sure to stay as clear as possible and constantly watch for riders entering the feature because if you're in the way, it could end badly. Yeah, you can see it way better right here. You can actually use a little bit of a break into it, but. No, the transition's super smooth. Not bad at all. That might be a 10 foot drop. Eight foot. I think it's eight the top of the yeah, I think you're right. You gonna ride around it or try it? Well, if we're not done on stair three, revisit it with you after you're... Uh, I think I'm gonna do it right now. Ready to go. You can watch me do it, get the speed that you need. Watching. Ooh, case that. It's not bad. doing it yeah Woo. heard that chain slap the chain slapper uh, i don't know sound like it Kunk. i don't know if it's chain slapper my fork oh it could have been Woo. nice after a few more runs on chair three we decided to head back down the mountain to grab some lunch we're taking the main jump line down on a trail called Old School. the bridge that's pretty rad Making a little squirrely in the air yeah i mean the rocks don't really help it kind of kicks down, you nose heavy on all the top jumps <laughs> oh. i dead sailored one up there just like yay <laughs> you're gonna go to the moon <laughs> all right Oh. Whoa! And that was my third incident of the day. You don't see it, but after I managed not to die from this massive endo, I got sucked into my rear wheel pretty bad. I'm just super happy that I didn't wad it into the bank. It could have been way worse. Today is not my day. You wreck again? No, I didn't. Did you see me almost die? Like right up at the start? Yeah. The front heavy? Yeah. I got sucked into my tire. You did? Yeah. <laughs> I think I buzzed the top of my dung. Like it kind of hurts. Road rash. I got. A, I think I got a bee stuck in my. Oh no. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you rip your helmet off? I had to stop boards. Like ah, get the out. No. And it, whatever it was, fucking bit me. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, riding half that run with like my ass completely hanging out because it pulled my pants off. <laughs> Man, today is like a Murphy's Law day. Whew. <laughs> did it, did it, did it. You're not allergic, right? Huh? You're not allergic? Okay. That's good. 
Yeah, like right after you said, oh, I'm a little nose heavy. I'm like, I'm feeling good, Mark. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, saw I did that and I was like, I'm about to die for the third time today. God. We managed to finish the rest of the day without incident, but it was just one of those days. Everybody has them. And as long as you're not completely broken, it's nice to look back and laugh at everything that went wrong. To help support this channel, check out my merch at theshreddish.com forward slash merch for some sweet shirts, mud guards, and stickers designed by yours truly. Some of the funds will be going straight to a set of shin guards. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more riding content, trail building, and POV videos. Thanks for stopping by today, and until next time, unlike me, keep that rubber side down. <laughs>